what I hate about our communities is drug abuse, alcohol abuse. Can you see how difficult it is to raise the children in that environment? It's not easy. I decided to come to Kailicha. It's where I was living with my sister. Her name was Zoliswa, and uh, she was sick. I decided to follow her to, to, to the clinic. She, I just found out today she's living with the HIV and she died. And I didn't even know what was wrong. And the baby was very, very young. I asked myself how I'm going to survive to raise this child because I'm not working. My husband was so stingy. I'm telling you the truth. It's when I learned, you know what? I have to grab my bag and go and work because I can work hard. The husband of these days, they are not supportive when it comes to their women. One day I was sitting next to my house and um, one of the ladies said, do you want to call, come to Gapa? I want you to see what's happening exactly in there. And then I, it's when I come to join Gapa. God plus minus 160 kids here. Yeah? Such a lot, but it's good because we are grannies. Grannies enjoying to be grannies to the kids. Uh, they must learn how to take care of their playground. Like you see this one is using the rake. They must know how to use the material to clean the yard. My own grandmother was such a good person and uh, it was her who were enjoying the life with us, not to raise us. But here in Cape Town, the grannies have a heavy duty to look after the grandchildren. I was thinking my problem is bigger than the others. But when I arrived here, I joined the grannies who also lost their children because of HIV and AIDS. It's a safe space for the kids and they're going to get a plate of food during the day. Like now we've already cooked Semp for them. Semp is good for this weather outside here because it's cold. They can go to bed with something in their stomach. I like to be a woman because women are strong. They're like the rocks. I so wish the next president of South Africa can be a woman who's gonna understand the woman's problem and listening to their voices so that I can go and stand in front of her and say what I want to say about our challenges. She'll understand exactly what's happening when it comes around us and she'll be good to listen to our problems and solve it. Mm -hmm.